So here at the MHL booth here at CES 2015, and who are you? My name's Rob Tobias, and I'm the president of MHL. So you're launching the new MHL. That's correct. So today at CES 2015, we're launching the Super MHL specification. So this is Super MHL uh, with crazy specs. We're talking 120 hertz. 8K. 8K, yes, absolutely. Cutting edge AV connectivity. Brand new cable and connector. This is new Super MHL cable and connector. It's a reversible connector, so I can plug it in this way, I can plug it in this way, it works. Follows state of the art technology. This cable can carry 8K, 120 frame per second video. In addition, it can carry up to 40 watts of power, so you can power all of your electronics from your tablets and your phones to things such as your Blu-ray player and set-top box. So let's go over there. You have an 8K TV. So over here, follow me. Introducing the world's first 8K TV with Super MHL. This is a Samsung 110-inch 8K TV. Just amazing quality video. So Super MHL, in addition to being 8K, 120 frames per second, we're introducing what we call experience beyond resolution. We're offering wider color gamut, so you, the display can offer more of the colors your eyes can see. It's offering deeper colors to reduce the color banding, so you see smooth transitions in the sky or in the sunsets. We also have high dynamic range. Many of you are familiar with that with your smartphone cameras, where you can see much more contrast and detail, especially in low light scenes, or where there's high contrast between brightness and darkness. So all these new features, are they just part of the higher bandwidth? How does that work? So they're all rolled into the spec. Some of these are signaling. Some of those require higher bandwidth. The source device has to tell the display what it's capable of, and the display has to say, hey, I'm an HDR display. I can do 48 bits of color, so give me that information. So let's see the specs again. So, uh, so you, you it's a crazy jump. The MHL3 is a 4K30, and uh, now you're jumping to 8K120, and then you add these. And uh, there. Yeah, even in the improved audio, such as Dolby Atmos, DTS UHD, 3D audio, we support up to 30.2 speakers, uh, audio only mode, and high resolution audio. Up to eight displays. So we can do multi streaming out of a source device, whether it's a phone or a PC or another media box. You can power multiple displays simultaneously. And a whole bunch of connectors. Yeah, so uh, MHL to date has predominantly focused on the micro USB connector on the phone. Uh, with this new spec, we support the new USB Type C connector. That's the reversible one? That's the reversible one. So you'll start seeing that in uh, parent phones this coming year. Uh, that connector provides the ability to do even higher video rates. So with that connector, we can get up to 8K 60 video. Uh, crazy video for smartphones. 8K smartphone output potentially su is supported. It's ca crazy future proof. Absolutely. So look for the future. This spec supports it all. That's really nice. And uh, this, this is a new cable. This is the first time you kind of uh, introduce a new cable. That's correct. So before MHL focused on using existing connectors like the micro USB connector and the HDMI connector. So this. Super MHL connector is a reversible. I can plug it in this way. I can plug it in this way. So this is the first time we define our own connector. Reason we had to do that is we needed to reach the 8K 120 frames per second. No connector out there on the marketplace could support that, so we had to do our own. And Samsung is a great partner. Samsung is a great partner. They helped. Uh, they helped develop this spec along with. With Samsung, Sony, Nokia, Toshiba, and Silicon Image. Three of those guys are big TV manufacturers, and others are big uh, smartphone manufacturers. So you're shipping hundreds and hundreds of millions of uh, MHL devices. So we're also announcing at CES, MHL is in over 750 million devices. 750 million devices? Yes. Uh, 4K products with MHL, there's smartphones. 
you in the, you are helping to power the most 4K cameras in the world, 4K camcorders. That's correct, and the most, uh, the biggest amount of 4K content development is in your smartphone. This here is a Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which you've seen uh, before, taking some great videos uh, in 4K. Yeah, so, you saw my videos, right? Yeah, they're fantastic. I love the camel. <laughs> That's cool. So, uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is the 4K right here. Yeah, exactly. So here we've got a Sony Xperia Z3 smartphone, which is 4K capable, connected via MHL, uh, micro USB on this side. Behind the TV, we're connected to the MHL port uh, uh, using the MHL cable. We right. support remote control protocol, which allows me to use my TV's remote. I can pause the video, I can continue playing it. So you interact with the Android TV uh, UI? I can fast forward. So this is interacting with the uh, Android OS that's on the phone there. Using right. the TV's remote. That's nice. And uh, what's going on here? Over here we're showcasing uh, productivity where I can take my smartphone, I can plug it into, this is a prototype dock and I can break out the USB so I can use my uh, mouse and keyboard to uh, control uh, the uh, applications running on the phone there. All right. Over here... It's going to be a big deal, no, the productivity. That's correct. We think phones are the wave of the future, phones and tablets. Uh, the software is just amazing. Uh, if anybody uses Google Docs, you can do everything you need to do from uh, uh, that you need to do. There's right? also Office on Android. And there's also Office on Android. So there's, uh, potentially lots of things going to happen with MHL productivity. Uh, that's correct. Lap Docs would be nice. Hopefully this year. Lap Docs we uh, hope to see on the marketplace this year. It's going to be nice. And let's go over here. Uh, this demo seems to be not working. So. So this is uh, in the car. Yeah, this is a uh, showing your phone connected to a aftermarket head unit here. Right. So there's lots of cars with MHL already. So uh, there's many, many aftermarket solutions with MHL. So you can go out and buy one today, plug it into your uh, car, plug your cell phone in, and uh, use your nav app or your entertainment app. Those like, is there millions of cars with MHL already? There's uh, many, many cars with aftermarket there, and starting this year, uh, some uh, factory cars will be rolling off a lot with MHL built into a NATO. Here, we're demonstrating the Sony head mount unit. Uh, you can connect your smartphone to it. You can uh, put it over your head. Nice. And it lo it'll look like a movie. Like so you have a movie. This? this is a uh, Sony. It's the Sony uh, head, head mounted uh, That's correct. cinema. You, you put it on, and it looks like you're watching a 110 inch movie screen right in front of your eyes. So it's MHL, that means you connect any MHL phone? Connect any MHL phone. So if you want to have the big screen experience and you live in a small apartment or you're sitting on the airplane, Get one of these, plug your phone into it. It's amazing. This is actually how Google Glass should work. Yes. MHL. You, you don't need to have the CPU on the Google Glass. Mm -hmm. You use the cable to your phone. That's, that's, that's in the pocket. That has longer battery life. That's, uh, that's how it could work. So and that'd be nice we, to see more of that. And we hope to see more uh, head-mounted displays, uh, VR, use that type of thing. So you're involved in the uh, wearable. That's correct. The wearable space is MHL too. What are these? So here we're doing the MHL scavenger hunt, where uh, people who are attending CES can go throughout, find the MHL products, take pictures, tweet them. And win a 8K TV? Uh, yes, we wish. You we wish. have a, uh, does anyone have the elephant? No, but I will get one. Okay. So there's an elephant, MHL elephant? The MHL elephant, so. And then. Uh, we have, a, uh, let's come to the back of the booth here. Let's go to the back of the booth. So there's uh, definitely, uh, this, this 4K60. That's correct. So 4K60 uh, is perfect in Super MHL, right? Yeah, Super MHL. We bring 4K60 to the uh, micro USB connector. So those of you who have went on the treasure hunt, this is the MHL Elephant that uh, we're giving away here at the show. Very cool, nice plush toy. Do That's you have a camel? <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, yeah, we should have. So there's some more. 
Uh, What's the sound support? Do you do do uh, surround? Yes, we offer a full uh, Dolby surround sound, Dolby digital. On, on 3 already, MHL 3 or only Super MHL? MHL 3 already supports that, so we can get that in products today. Uh, in uh, Super MHL, we're adding Dolby Atmos and uh, DTS UHD, so that's next generation audio. Uh, some of you may have been into a Dolby Atmos theater. Here's some uh, nice looking MHL stuff too. So these are our partner Madcats. Madcats, they uh, develop game co Bluetooth game controllers, Bluetooth headphones. And then uh, the MHL phone is uh, outputting a crazy high quality TV uh, game. Uh, uh, here we go. We're uh, playing uh, a race game here using uh, my phone as a console. We're playing Riptide 2. I'm using the Mad Cats controller here. And away we go. Just like using the game console. And when you're done playing, your game, your phone is charged. Yep, so full time you're playing it, it's being charged. Nice. That's another game. Which game is that? Uh, this is uh, Meltdown. Meltdown. By so this is pretty high quality, crazy cool gaming. That's correct. You can do that all on your smartphone. All right. This is the new Madcats uh, Transformer controller. It is crazy. See, this is where it's folded up, and then it can transform itself into a full blown. Hey, can, can you, do you have one of those in the pocket? You have this one? Mad Cats. Let's see the mad product here. Is it shipping? Uh, it's available for pre-order now on our website, store.madcats.com. Let me see up close. So this is how it looks. Uh, let's move it, turn it around. We see under it. So this battery, the chargeable battery, up to 20 hours. And what, uh, what are these under here? This. So these buttons, when you press them, you could actually unfold the controller. And when you press them, you could fold them right back. It's beautiful. How's the gameplay? So I'll be uh, able to play with uh, all your mobile games that are gamepad compatible on Android and uh, and on PC. And it's comfortable. It's nice. Yes. Oh, it's cool. It's really yeah, nice. There's a keyboard you can plug in. Yes, there's a new uh, keyboard attachment as well. Where does that go? That goes right here. Whoa. So you have some pretty cool designers at Mad Cats. And we have uh, another party trick where if you have a 7 inch tablet, you could attach it onto one of these. Where? So you take this off, and then there's a button in the middle. So you press this on the left side comes apart. Whoa. Put that over here. And this one. Take that out. Put it on the right side. Whoa. Put that here. And put your seven inch tablet in the center. This is really cool. Beautiful. That's awesome. How much? Uh, this will be $2.99 uh, available for pre-order now on madcats.com. That's a cool, that's a cool. Thanks. So, uh, and then, so this gaming is a big deal with MHL. More and more games, and uh, potentially the smartphones are gonna be their, the next gen consoles. Yep, the power of the CPU and GPU in the uh, smartphones gets uh, better and better, so it is rivaling your uh, game console. And it's great to have good GPU on the smartphone display, but it's even better to have a great CPU, GPU when you output it to a 4K TV. Absolutely, when you put that up on the 4K, it looks a beautiful, amazing picture. So you really, like, this is the reason. MHL output. MHL, connect your phone, get the most out of it.